you know, we, we really want to build something here that's going to be successful for, for the foreseeable future. And to do that, I think, you know, the one lesson that the A-League's taught us is that, you know, you need stability in, in your club, in your players and, and in, in those kind of areas. And, you know, I think it's a great vote of confidence for everyone involved in the club that uh, three important players in our roster have agreed to re-sign. Obviously, I think the key thing for me when, when, when I started negotiations with the boys is that, you know, three of them will have only played for the Brisbane Roar. They're the kind of players and the kind of people we want around our club. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're loyal to, to the to the cause here and um, they're setting the right kind of culture. And, and certainly from my point of view, it was one of my priorities this year to make sure that we, we got the boys to re-sign. Of course, they had the options of going elsewhere and I'm sure there was uh, plenty of opportunity for them to look at other avenues and other offers and, and so forth. But the one thing I will say is that uh, the, the players and their representatives right from the start made it clear to me that they wanted to stay at Brisbane. That's where they saw their future. And that gave me a great deal of confidence uh, when dealing with them that we would get uh, get all three of them over the line. You know, we wanted to send a strong message. Obviously, as I said, the boys were out of contract, so they had plenty of clubs knocking on their door. And, uh, you know, it would have been very easy. I mean, if, if, if we weren't heading in the right direction for any one of them to take a different option, but... We really are committed. We started last year, you know. Um, um, we kind of went through the upheaval last year, but, you know, I didn't want to go through that every year. I certainly want stability at this club. I want a strong foundation. And for any club, it's your people. You know, they're the most, they're the key ingredient. It's the people you have. And, um, you know, with these three guys, um, apart from their talent, obvious talent on, on the field, it's just they're the right people we want to build this club around. So, yeah, look, it's, I think it's, it's a, big tick of approval for where we're heading as a, as a football club. So, you know, I think it's it's great. I mean, obviously, Matty being our captain, you know, um, he's he's led from the front this year and he's playing his best football. And, and I think he personifies a lot of what we want to build at the club. Same with Massimo, he's, he's a foundation member of the club. Um, and those kind of things are the things, the values that we want to um, really highlight um, as a football club. And, and he's... You know, being a consistent performer uh, for this club, and it's great that he's you know continued to be a one uh, a one club player, and 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 with Mitch as well, because you know I really think Mitch has has really matured this year, and you know I I think there's a massive upside to him, and and the fact that he's uh, chosen us as as the platform for him to continue improving his career is is fantastic as well. So really delighted all three boys are, are going to be with us. Great for the club, great for our supporters. Um, for everyone involved, our owners, uh, management, um, you know, like I said, these are the kind of people we want to build this club around and uh, so I'm delighted that they've all put pen to paper. Yeah, of, of course, Andrew said the, the three things that, you know, it's been important to me that I've been a foundation member, I'm captain of the club and, you know, I've got some you know, great teammates in here. So I did have offers, um, you know, both in Australia and abroad, but I'm very happy to stay here. It's a, it's a great club. Um, you know, this time last year, uh, my thoughts were elsewhere, but uh, right from day one of this pre-season, um, it's been great. Ange has been great, and um, the boys have really taken to the, the tasks, and we've been, yeah, the season's just flown so quickly and, and so well, so smoothly, and we want to finish off well. So I'm very happy to be here for the next three years and, and looking forward to it. When I first spoke to the gaffer, I told him I wanted to stay, and, um, you know, he said he'd take his time, and... Um, Give me the offer, and I, you know, once I seen it, I agreed. Like I don't know, I seen a bit of speculation, but um, I didn't speak to anyone else. You know, last year I probably slacked off a little bit, and um, you know, it's my own fault. Like everyone was pushing me, but um, you know, I let myself down. I let the team down last year, but you know, I came back for pre-season with a new attitude, and um, you know, I just got right into it and stuck with it, and um, you know, I'm starting to get rewards now. Yeah, I think uh, you know, compared to these two boys, I've I had a setback last year, and. It was a it was a worrying time for me at the time, and um, you know no one wants to break their leg, and sometimes it can uh, be career uh, career threatening, and um, I definitely felt that at the time. Uh, coming back this year, I felt I've hit, you know, some parts of my game I still got to work on a little bit, uh, still got to get back to what I used to be, but um, you know overall I was happy with the way I went this year, um, and for Ange to show faith and want to lock me up for three years, that's uh, a good sign for me that he values me as, a, as an important part of what he's trying to do and um, you know that's a positive thing not only for me but for my partner as well. Ange has got 
a great philosophy, not only on the game, but on life in general. And, you know, in bits and parts, gives us his uh, philosophies on life. And uh, I totally agree with everything he has to say about everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's not what I've heard, by the way. Yeah, so, uh, yeah hopefully he keeps me in the team now that I've <laughs> But look, I think uh, look, Andrew is a, is a character that we needed, uh, especially last year. It was a tough time, and uh, he was definitely the right man to come in and pretty much fix everything. And now we're reaping the rewards, and um, you know he deserves full credit for it.